Hello YouTubers. In this video we're going to be working on our 2001 Club Car DS with the FE290 motor. This problem um, that we're going to cover in this particular video I don't think has anything to do with why it won't run. This is a completely independent project that I've been wanting to do while I've already got most of it apart. Most of it apart. So we ordered a Magneto in video one and um, we took it out and so while it's apart underneath and other parts scattered underneath it over there, I am going to um, uh, replace the head gasket. So I bought a head gasket years ago when the spark plug blew out of the engine. Uh, I guess the previous owner had stripped it somehow, some way, and it had blown up. Hit my rump on the seat, hit the bottom of the seat. And so that was that. So in the order and haste, in the haste of putting it back together, I bought a new head from Club Car and installed it. And I had forgotten to buy the gasket. So this is an opportunity to put in a new gasket. Don't know if it's gonna amount to anything, or be of any value for any reason, but I have the head gasket, I've had the head gasket, and I want to replace the head gasket. So let's get that all apart. First thing I'm going to do already done is the air box this one just sits in here it was broken ever since i bought it next thing is let's get the carburetor off so we're going to undo this clip here this clip here and it is held in with two 10 millimeter bolts right here so we got everything off i like to set things up how they came off so this was the first piece furthest back and there was a gasket, then there was this, then the carburetor, and then the gasket, and the intake thing. All right, so next step. <clears throat> I've already put some penetrating fluid on the exhaust bolts. We're going to be working on those. And I'm also going to be working on getting this panel here off. This is a panel. There's bolts going around it. All 10 millimeters. Probably could use just a wrench or a ratcheting wrench to get those off. Okay, to get the head off, we're going to have to remove this bolt here and that bolt there. And I think that removes this cover. So let's get the cover. So there was a third screw. There was one there. The one on the side, like I mentioned, and then there was one right there, and it comes right out. That exposes the head. So we shouldn't have to make any changes to anything. All we should have to do is unbolt the head. So one, two, three, four. should be our head bolts. Not all of this is the head. This part here is part of the motor. The head is this right here, this new shiny bit that I put on a couple of years back. So let's undo the screws and get it out. Okay, the bolts are out. We're right here in the order. The head should come off and the lifters should stay. Yay. Anyway, let me see if I can get this thing off. Uh, I'm basically going to try a razor to see if I can get behind it. And see if I can begin to peel it off. So I meant to show the bottom. It's the bottom of the head. Don't look too bad. I run premium in these. And it's not beautiful. I'm not saying it's beautiful, but I'm, not, I'm also saying it's not that bad from what I've seen on other videos on YouTube. That one doesn't look so bad. So here's the gasket out. You can see why I reused it. It does not look bad at all. But these are metal. Well, I don't know. This one over here is not a metal. Maybe not. Anyway. New one's going back in after I clean off the surface. Got a little scotch bright. 
So I've seated the head gasket on here. It goes onto this uh, peg, but it's gonna line up with the bolts and be perfect. Oh, I didn't show you what I did. Cleaned it, get some scotch bright. Looks good. Yeah, so uh, the valves are going to be a bit of an issue. I think what I'm gonna have to do is take this part of the head off where the valves sit and um, align it back up. I'll show you. Anyway, we're gonna put the head back on, but we're gonna take this off and uh, so that we can get the valves. Lifters lined up with the valves. So the cover is off. There's the gasket. No big deal. Well, here's what I was trying to say. The lifters are going to go underneath these here, these rockers. And so we want to make sure they get seated in there properly. The only way to verify when you put the head back down is take the cover off so that you can see that the lifters are in the right space. Now, one thing I also note, as I see it on other shows, I've not swapped the lifters. They've stayed in the hole the whole time. They've moved around, but they've stayed in the hole. So it should line right back up with this once I get them in. So, so the head is back down. Um, this particular lifter is not seating right, but this one over here, is perfect but this one is not so we have some sort of issue I'm, I'm thinking that when I go to torque the head bolts on there's some yeah, down at the bottom and when I go to torque this thing down I'll be careful to bring this up and into the seat, the seat and tighten it down. It tightens to 18 foot-pounds. Okay, it's just as I figured. As soon as I snug these up and they're not torqued yet, uh, the lifter fell into place. Snug as a bug and a rug. That is perfect. So, 18 foot-pounds. Let me get the torque wrench and torque those down. All right, YouTube, so that's it for the head uh, head gasket replacement, no big deal there. Everything lined back up, went in just like I expected. Tightened everything down to 18 foot pounds. And now that we're done with the project as a whole, everything's buttoned up and ready to go. So this completes how to replace a head gasket on your Club Car DS FE290. YouTubers, if you like the video, like the video.